A new investigation claims officials of the nuclear waste repository near Carlsbad did not know enough in advance to keep workers in the community safe. It also says officials waited too long to tell workers about the radiation leak. KOG Action 7 News reporter Alana Grimstad explains how lawmakers are reacting to the report. A lot more people could have been hurt a lot worse, and major changes are needed so the next emergency isn't a tragedy. That's the message a Federal Nuclear Safety Board sent to U.S. Senators Martin Heinrich and Tom Udall after two recent incidents at the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant near Carlsbad, where low-level nuclear waste is stored underground. The letter refers to a truck fire and radiation leak back in February. The review board says emergency procedures failed and at least one of the incidents was preventable. In response, Senator Heinrich writes, the troubling safety concerns must be taken very seriously by all levels of management at the Department of Energy and at WIP. The community of Carlsbad and the nation expect WIP to operate with the highest level of safety. Senator Udall calls this report deeply troubling and says we need a zero tolerance approach to serious accidents. In fact, Udall and Heinrich are now calling for federal environmental agents to soon head to Carlsbad and test the air to make sure it's safe. A lot of Grimstad, KOAT Action 7 News. So Ford also says workers were told not to shelter in place until 10 hours after the first sign of a potential leak and more than four hours after it was confirmed. It also says the Department of Energy's Emergency Center in Washington, D.C. was never notified.